What did Suho say to younger idols that caused a lot of ruckus with Knets? Who is this well-known trainee SM Entertainment just recruited? And what controversy is Tao involved with this time around? And is former AOA leader Jimin just confirmed she got married? Guys, you'll surely be left speechless, so without wasting your time, let's get right into it. Suho is in the center of attention after he called younger idols lazy. The EXO member recently released his song Grey Suit, and while his comeback is doing pretty good, it seems like Suho has a lot of grievances he wanted to address, one of which is the huge difference between his generation and the newer generation of idols. Let me give you a quick run through of what happened. So Suho held a fan sign event in a cafe in Busan, and if you're an SM stan, you know how uncharacteristic this is for the company since they are well known for doing things inside the box and just basically not letting their idols experience new stuff because of the image they are expected to keep. However, Zuo didn't hold back and made a comment about this matter and honestly, it's so satisfying to hear someone finally speak out. At the end of the event, Zuo sarcastically said, actually, I didn't think it was such a great event. I thought I was the one doing everything. He then commented on newer idols. Specifically, EXO's leader said, idols these days seem to be very lazy. Then he added, quote, is it a matter of the agency? As companies are getting bigger and the idol market is more crowded, they don't seem to care about every little thing. It's unfortunate. While the statement is definitely not a subtle shade whatsoever, since he made sure to get his thoughts across, Knets still praised. Suho for choosing to express his feelings just like the veteran idol that he is. After the statement was made, comments flooded in with mixed reactions from readers. One said, quote, considering his experience in this industry, he has the right to say that, with a lot more agreeing with Suho's sentiments. Personally, I do feel that idols nowadays had it better compared to the older generation of idols who debuted way before K-pop became popular, but they do have their struggles and it's for the best that we respect all that. Next up, B2B's Song Jae is rumored to be in a relationship after seeing the idol on multiple golf dates with his alleged girlfriend. The news made rounds when Pan Choa made a post about it in April 18th, and soon enough, it was the talk of the town for days. The Korean blog didn't reveal any details as to the identity of the rumored girlfriend, but did share that she is an influencer and uploaded a video of her while playing golf, where Song Jae's voice was supposedly heard. Well, there's more detective skills they have right there. Anyway, I know this alone is not conclusive evidence that the two are dating, but Melody soon realized that the idol had been posting a lot of golf-related things recently. And of course, that sparked more suspicion because this can't just be a coincidence, right? Fans also spotted numerous couple items from the two, such as their phone cases, which led them to a Assume there might be more truth to these allegations, and while this might upset other fandoms, Melodies aren't acting toxic about the situation and even shared how happy they are about the possible couple. Commenting about their Magnus situation, a fan wrote, here we are thinking that Tang Sub would be the first to come out and reveal that he's in a relationship, and then comes Hong Jae with his dating rumor, our like... <sighs> However, it seems like Melodies must wait a little more before they can congratulate Sungjae because Cube Entertainment had denied the rumors and already made a statement about it. Seems like former AOA leader Jimin is gaining attention after she posted a picture of her hand, but not just any photo because the rings adorning her ring finger is surely a scene stealer and K-Nuts are buzzing about it. She first made a commotion after a photo of her looking very skinny made rounds online, and a few days later, Jimin is once again the center of everyone's attention for allegedly sharing her relationship status. Some even speculated that the former idol is hinting at a possible marriage, but honestly, who knows? 
So far, nothing was confirmed just yet. Recently, another former AOA member, Sodian, shared her close relationship with the controversial AOA member when they posted several photos from their trip and fans were happy seeing the two are still pretty close, especially after everything that happened with their group. Moving on, SM Entertainment hit the jackpot once again after they reported that famous YouTuber Na Ha Eun officially signed an exclusive contract with them. More popularly known as Awesome Helen, this child dancer is considered a gem, especially since a lot of entertainment companies have been trying to cast her for years now. She started her journey way back in 2009 on YouTube and now has a whopping 5 million subscribers on the platform. Not to mention how she already performed on big stages such as the Melon Music Awards even before she became a trainee, which is why everyone wants her under their company. SM revealed through their post that Naha Eun already started training under them and is expected to grow as the potential next generation K-pop artist. What do you guys think? I actually didn't expect how this turned out, but I'm very excited to see what the future brings to this very talented young lady. After releasing Still Life, Big Bang had achieved a lot of milestones even after years of hiatus, but it seems like a lot of YG investors aren't very keen about their recent song release. This was made known after an article titled YG Investors Let Down by Big Bang's Comeback was published on the news site Korea Economic Daily, and VIPs are confused especially after the song topped countless charts and even won numerous music shows despite the no-show Big Bang did throughout the promotions. More on the matter, Korea Economic Daily shared that many investors sold their holdings after noticing that Big Bang was not promoted and that there were no plans for future activities or a physical album. And since Top had officially left the agency, investors considered Still Life as the final project they were getting from the OG boy group, and they weren't very happy about it. YG had already shut down these allegations and assured VIPs that Big Bang is not disbanding, but investors think this is not enough. Specifically, they made a comment saying, quote, to raise their stock prices, YG needs to use the hype from Big Bang's comeback. YG have not made any statement about the matter. Hyuna and Don are showing fans what a strong relationship looks like as they continue to flaunt their love in public. The couple who officially got engaged this year looks as happy as ever. They even go on trips and don't forget to let their fans know what they are up to. The two appeared on the YouTube channel Studio Waffles Mouth with Wheel to talk about the relationship. The MC didn't miss the opportunity and asked the two about the ring they shared via Instagram, to which Don answered saying, I made this. This is about 50% of my wealth. Well, talk about giving everything for the sake of love. It had been reported before that the ring alone cost a fortune. The designer had shared on her Instagram the rings themselves can pay for her one year rent and even captioned the post with hashtag love isn't cheap. Ooh, I hope they grow more in love with each day that passes, and I wish nothing but good things for them in the future. Hopefully, we can hear the wedding bell soon. Last but not least, former EXO member Tao is once again tangled in a dating rumor, and this time, the former idol was caught being lovey-dovey with a former SM trainee while on set. The rumor started when a post on Weibo blows off in the post. It was said that Shu Yi Yang, Tao's rumored lover, stayed at Tao's filming site for two days. It was even reported that the two had moved in together after the filming was over. This is not the first time the two were involved in a dating rumor like this since they've been the talk of the town since February of this year, but stood their ground and denied everything. It was speculated that the two met when both were still trainees under SM Entertainment. Later on, Tao left the company and moved back to China, and Xu Yang followed suit. She also signed under Tao's company after. However, netizens continue to discover more evidence that leads to a conclusion that the two are indeed in a relationship. And honestly, they're just waiting for confirmation at this point. Recently, they remain mum about the speculation and have not released any statement about the rumors. How about you? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, make sure to give this a like and stay tuned for more. See you!